Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see MQTT connector in MuleSoft. So mainly this MQTT is mainly for uh, publish and subscribe and also where uh, internet bandwidth is a uh, premium concern where we are going to publish and subscribe it mainly for the IoT related devices. Then we can use this MQTT protocol in order to exchange the data between different system or devices. So MQTT is message queue telemetry transport so this is the full form of mqtt so in order to do that what i'm going to do is first i'm going to download some hive mq which supports this mqtt this mqtt which runs in a default port called 183 which is a tcp ip port and next once i download it and i'm going to configure uh, java because this mqtt use uh, java 11 so which i'm going to configure it then I'm going to quickly create a mule application in order to publish and subscribe it from the MQTT topic. So first in order to download Hive MQ, I'll just go to internet and I'll download Hive MQ download. There's a website HiveMQ.com. You just go there and uh, fill the required details. See here, uh, we need to fill the business email. So you have to give your office email ID and fill all the details and click download. So once you click download, you'll be able to see this particular downloaded file in your downloads folder. So I have downloaded for uh, Windows. So this is the latest version I have downloaded, HiveMQ 4.7.3 and I have extracted it. Once I extract the file, I'm going to inside the bin folder and I'll go and open the command from, from there. Now I'm in the command prompt and uh, there are many files. I'm going to run something called run.bat file. So I'll just give command like run so that it will bring the MQTT broker. So there are many MQTT broker like uh, Hive MQ. So we have something called uh, Mosquito broker and uh, there are many uh, MQTT providers are there. And Hive MQ is one of the MQTT broker. So now uh, see here, it started the TCP listener on this port and it started the Hive MQ. So it started already. So what I'm going to do is uh, next one is this internally uses Java uh, 11, which I already configured. So how to configure it? It's similar to how uh, we configure the Java environment in our environment variable. Go to the environment variable in your, in your system and then go to environment variables and then there's a system variable section. Go to path and this is the path I have recently added now in order to this Hive MQT work because the Hive MQ uses Java 11 and in order to download the Java 11 I download it from the Oracle website so you can go to Java 11 download there you have to log in and then you have to download it so there are many versions are there and mainly I went inside the Java 11 so this is for Windows for Java 17 and looking for the other Java download so you can go to Java 11 or what you can do is directly you can search uh, Java 11 download in the Oracle website you just download it and uh, you will have a different version for Linux and uh, everything so I have downloaded this one which is Windows 64 version and uh, there is a JDK. I have downloaded it and I have extracted it. So I extracted in my C colon. So this is the file I have downloaded it and uh, I have extracted it here. And uh, I went to the here and in this bin path, I have configured it in my path variable and I moved it up so that uh, any Java related application which I'm going to run, it uses the path from the environment variable. So after that, I was able to start the Hive MQ and uh, so it's running in a 183 port. So now uh, this Hive MQ uh, 183 port is a TCP IP port for default port for any MQTT broker. So here Hive MQ is our MQTT broker. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to configure that one from the AnyPoint Studio. I'll create a new project. This one I'll just name this as a uh, MQTT demo. I'm going to use the latest 4.4 version and I'm using AnyPoint Studio of 7.11 which is the latest. So how I'm going to trigger this process or this application I'm going to use a HTTP listener 
and listener configuration i'll keep everything to default with 8081 port and this path i'll say so when someone uh, call this endpoint published last message then this particular listener should get invoked then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use mqtt module see here go to add module see mqtt is there or not if it is not there then what you have to do you have to go and search in exchange and search mqtt and once it's up here then you just move the right side and then click finish then it will come to your module so as i have already added so it's available in my available module which i'll drag and drop into my project it has only two things one is publish and another one is on new message publish is just to publish the message to mqtt broker i'll configure publish now so here we have to configure our mqtt broker details so you can have any kind of mqtt broker uh, now in this example we are going to use the one which we have just installed which is a hive mq and uh, there is a required libraries for eclipse pago M mqtt3 i'll configure there is a add recommended libraries once you click that it is going to add a relevant jar file which can talk to mqtt broker i'll just click okay so once you give okay whatever the dependencies required which it will get automatically added into our pom.xml file which i'll show it after this and this one there are few things are there client id and uh, client id random suffix generator so for example this client id is the one which broker will understand uh, which system is connecting that particular broker for example i'm going to give this as a my mules of dev environment okay so this is my client id so for this one there will be one connection established to mqtt broker so that mqtt broker will know this particular connection is coming from mules of dev environment and then username and password as of now i didn't configure any username password and i'm going to use a tcp port and then my mqtt broker is running in 80 sorry 1883 port which is the default port for tcp port for mqtt broker i'll do a test connection so now i'm trying to connect into mqtt broker which is hive mq which is running in my local machine it's able to connect it i'll give okay in your real use cases you will give a mqtt server detail which shared by uh, any of the team from your organization so that you have to configure it now i'll just give okay the configuration is complete then it's asking the topic to be configured before that i'll just go to the pom.xml for this project so the project name is not this one mm, yeah so mqtt demo is the project name and then i'll just uh, go to pom.xml you will be able to see this particular part related to eclipse got added this is the jar we have added in a recommended libraries so this dependency we have added and uh, it will take it from the the required repository and it will download it and it will uh, uh, upload into our location so this is the one we have added it and this is the jar also it got downloaded based on the recommended libraries it's also downloaded so everything is there in our project now using those jars we'll be able to connect to the mqtt broker we have already configured the mqtt server name in this particular configuration only the topic name is pending which i will give it like here temperature topic so if the topic is not available in the particular environment it will create it so as of now i didn't create anything explicitly in the mqtt broker i'll give this topic name as temperature topic and there is a whatever the payload is coming as part of http listener i'm going to send that to this particular topic now i'll save this one this is for publishing okay so i'll just rename this uh, flow to something meaningful so i'll just say mqtt publish flow so this is the one it's receiving and publishing it and after publishing it maybe you now i'll just add some payload so that uh, the stdb response will be able to see whatever the payload we are setting it so here i'll set it like i'll say some message uh, i'll say um, i'll say this is a so object and i'll say message colon and then i'll close this one message has been published successfully to temperature topic okay so this has been 
published so that's a message we are setting it so this is the published flow similarly i'm going to create one more flow which is going to subscribe it from this particular topic in our real uh, use cases we either will publish it or somebody will publish the data and which we will subscribe it or some iot device will publish to that mqtt broker which will be subscribing it and which will be sending to different backend system so for this demo i am itself publishing and i am i am itself going to subscribe it on new message if any message is coming to specific topic we are going to trigger this particular flow so mqtt config we already configured so that we have selected it here we need to say the topic name which i'll change it to edit inline and i'll say the topic name is temperature topic so whatever the topic i'm publishing the message so same topic i'm just pub subscribing it as well so the topic configuration is done now and then i'll save this one once i subscribe it as of now for this example i'll just want to log the payload into my console itself okay so i'll just change this to expression mode i'll change this to payload so whatever message has been subscribed that alone i wanted to print just to show whatever we published we are able to subscribe it from mqtt broker so this flow name i'll change it to mqtt subscribe flow so flow name has been changed and uh, this listener this is the endpoint so it's better to put that endpoint in the listener name and uh, i'll also say this is a post method so that when we look at this one we'll know it's a post method and it's going to this particular endpoint and also i'll just go and advance and put only post method because i'm going to publish some message so i'm going to push some payload data so that's why i change my listener to post method i'll save this one now what i'm going to do i'm going to run this particular project so once the project is deployed i'm going to run this particular application using this publish slash message endpoint from the external client so i'll just go to postman and i'll just select post method and my mule application is running in 8081 port and then the endpoint name is publish slash message and as we are going to post it so we have to go to the body and select raw and i'm going to post some json data to my topic which is a temperature topic so i'll just try to form the message so i'll say message it's a temperature reading so i'll say 12.3 is my reading and i'm going to publish it before that i'll come and check my studio to see my project is deployed or not so it's deployed i'm going to run this so that our application will receive the request see here our application has received the request and it send the response back so when it reaches the set payload it successfully executed the publish that is why we are the our step is getting executed for set payload and we are getting this a proper response and also we are getting 200 okay status which means our application has received the request and also it processed the request successfully to the mqtt broker so now how do i verify this particular thing has been published because we got the exact message whatever we configured in set payload which means it's published otherwise we might have got some error message and other than that what we have done whenever someone published that message to the temperature topic we are also subscribing it and logging it i'll just go to the console and we'll be able to see the message see here we are able to see the message which you published so this mqtt subscribe flow through on new message it listened whenever there is a message is coming to that particular uh, mqtt topic it subscribed the message and it printed the log because we are printing the entire payload in this particular step so you are able to see and also you are able to see the logger right it's getting invoked from this mqtt subscribe flow it's 12.3 so now i'll try to run it with a different reading which is 25 degree or uh, 25.3 when i run it you'll be able to see that message also getting printed there so which means whenever we publish to mqtt topic there is a listener which subscribe to it and which is executing the further flow steps so this way you can uh, publish any messages to your mqtt topic and also using on new message you can listen to the topic and you can subscribe to subscribe the message from the particular topic so mainly we will use the mqtt broker in our iot scenarios where any of the iot enabled device wanted to send some signals to iot device then uh, or any kind of router or any kind of broker 
then that broker will receive this request and then uh, from there we can subscribe to it so as it is relevant to topic whenever someone publish it many interested subscriber can subscribe it from the same topic and main thing is the client id which we gave it here and through which only uh, in the mqtt broker side it will be able to understand who is connected the mqtt mqtt broker maybe it could be your device name or anything like that so this is the identifier at mqtt side mqtt broker side to understand who has connected to that particular topic to publish or subscribe the messages thank you